Bands of Time hoodie. Uh, this looks sick. Uh, is available right now. Gokamerch.com. We got Eternal Beauty right here. Shut up, Gokunaru. The real thing you should be advertising is our brand new Hubert NPCs. Did you enjoy the Sneeko video? Do you desire the love and companionship that comes with owning a Hubert of your own? Well, then you should head to Gokamerch.com and sign up for the email list. It's easy. Just take a look at one of our satisfied cuts. You open it. Oh! Oh! That's hard! A little bot! Wow, look at that smile. Making a friend has never been easier with our new Hubert NPCs. Sign up to the gokamerch.com email list today so that you'll be the first to be notified when Huberts go on sale. Only a limited quantity will be sold. So sign up. The first thing I wanted to cover, okay, and it's not actually, I wouldn't say this is uh, even, you know, exciting news, but it's certainly not happy news, but uh, it was interesting to me, and it was something that I kind of wanted to highlight just lightly, um, but a friend of Sneeko, in fact, a guy who Sneeko referenced in his response to, you know, our little shenanigans, uh, Arab. Okay, this is a YouTuber who Sneeko referenced as someone who is love speech, right? Who is cool, who, you know, was whatever, stood for what he stands for. And yeah, I, I had observed, you know, that Arab was like a YouTuber who kind of sucked up to Sneeko, like Sneeko, whatever, hangs out with him. Uh, a lot of, some of D Sneeko's dumber antics were in the company of Arab. Um, but I wasn't Arab that, YouTuber. yeah, I wasn't that familiar with Arab. But apparently the guy went like an adventurist, okay, we need to keep in mind, right? Because I, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I have a very unique perspective as somebody who has been to a place where there was civil unrest, okay, Hong Kong 2019. I was present there at literally the peak of, you know, the protests, okay? And really, truly, I was in the middle of it. And, you know, hopefully one day you'll really see the extent of it. But the point, though, is um, is that the reason that I was in the middle of it, it wasn't necessarily out of a adventurous urge, okay? Uh, I really or organically kind of was in the middle of it. And I'm not against, you know, journalism. I'm not against uh, people trying to, you know, get firsthand accounts of what is occurring. I do think it's brave, right? And one of the most terrifying aspects of the conflict is the understanding, right, that it is extremely fucking hostile territory, okay? Especially as this, you know, battle or one-sided war broke out. Many, many on-the-ground journalists uh, were literally killed, maimed, whatever, okay? And even, even if they were outside of the line of fire, even if they were, you know, in the neighboring Lebanon, uh, there's just horrible, horrible footage of, like, um, reporters being literally blown up. And so I understand. It's similar with Ukraine. There's well, there's a decent amount of on-the-ground journalists in Ukraine who were killed. And whatever other buzzword and location that is, you know. The point is, though, is that I understand the uh, genuine f***ing danger. And, and again, there is a respect to being an on-the-ground on reporter. But there is a real f***ing danger that should not be overlooked. And so, a guy like Arab, right, I actually was analyzing his channel, funny enough, like, just a few days ago. Because I was trying to understand when Sneeko was referring to Arab as, like, love speech. And, like, you know, basically glazing him as, like, a guy who stands for what he stands for. I was observing, like, what is his content? And I was actually surprised. The content is interesting. The thing is, is that it's really not that deep, right? So, like, he goes to Skid Row you know, land of zombies, it's kind of like sensationalist, it really doesn't cut that deep. This is a big genre, by the way, on YouTube, and I respect it, because these people actually do go to these locations, they do experience something in real life, but a lot of the times, their takeaways, like, you know what I mean, they're, they're only observing the symptoms of much, much larger problems than they are really interested in understanding, right? Like, their core interest is at, you know, just pointing a camera at this messed up place and being like, oh, look at this, you know what I mean? Yeah, and not really, you know, diagnosing what is causing these symptoms. Just like, look at the symptoms, dude, this place is f And so, yeah, Arab is kind of, you know, in that lane. Again, the guy's got balls. He's, like, clearly um, a guy who is not afraid to, you know, step out of his comfort zone. Uh, going and living with the Mexican cartel uh, inside Dubai's hidden replica markets. Very, very cool and genuinely interesting, you know, concepts for videos. 
Again, to me, though, it just doesn't go that deep. Underground Tunnel people of Las Vegas. Um, but yeah, it's, it, I will say, like this, <laughs> to be honest, yeah, it, to an extent, it is more interesting content than what Sneeko's making. Now, the whole thing, right, is that this guy got kidnapped, okay? And the reason he, you know, got kidnapped, assumingly, all right, and again, this is all assuming that this isn't just sensationalist garbage, which I don't believe it is, because I can kind of tell that this guy is, you know, someone who would take risks that could get him kidnapped. But yes, he got kidnapped by, you know, a gang in Haiti, and I'm not going to claim to understand the exact situation of the today's, you know, political climate in Haiti. I was vaguely aware of the fact that the president, you know, was assassinated um, in a pretty brutal way, but I'm not going to, you know, expound on any much more, really. I just know that there are gangs that have gained much prominence within Haiti, and that a lot of, you know, that there's a lot of conspiracy behind it, right? Which I just won't get into because I want to be informed before I talk about things like this. But Good yeah, time. here's Sneeko's announcement. I'll just let you watch it. Arab has been kidnapped in Haiti. He's been kidnapped for 15 days. Your fellow Arab, the YouTuber, our good friend and love speech mess, um, love speech member. So free Arab and, and prayers for Arab. Arab has been kidnapped in Haiti. He's been kidnapped for 15 days. Muted. Bro, my bad. Thank you so much. You just saved me so much grief. Thank you for donating and telling me that, telling me that dude. Okay, I'll get to the donations in a sec, but let's watch Sneeko's, um comments here. Because yes, he's basically identifying what I could kind of tell right away just from skimming Arab's channel. It's like he, the guy's an adventurist, okay? He's, uh, you know, more so looking for spectacle than he is deep understanding okay and so sneeko is going to confirm that and it's funny because sneeko is very similar in that way but i think that he actually in this aspect is maturing right like again sneeko already understands he can disrespect gays and you know uh women as much as he wants but he can't really disrespect his core audience which yeah is you know like arab you know muslims and white people, right? Right wing. Hey, I'm right. late, so you might have covered it, but did you see Hamza broke up with his GF yet again? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're going to be discussing. Thank you for the donation, my friend. Um, we are going to be exploring that. That is, uh, and again, this isn't, this is what's weird about Hamza, right? It's like, I wouldn't cover the if he wasn't talking about this stuff to his audience of literal kids. You know what I mean? Like he chooses to, to make himself so transparently almost schizo in the way that he handles relationships but we're gonna you know react or respond whatever see what's going on with that um and yeah thank you guys for being here but the current thing we're talking about is sneeko's friend arab again a guy that sneeko referred to as like a good youtuber when he was talking about me okay me being you know a demonic soy boy youtuber um and so this Arab guy that Sneeko held up as this, you know, high caliber YouTuber, he got kidnapped in Haiti for, from what I understand, uh, around and finding out. Um, and so here is Sneeko talking about the fact that this was kind of predictable. This was inevitable. The way that guy thinks when we were in Saudi Arabia, like the jokes he was saying, he was making 9-11 jokes. And when you're already, we were hearing from people in Saudi saying, yo, stop making those jokes. Like we got, we got, I got the call in Saudi, like chill out during the stream. I'm not leaking anything. We were live in Saudi Arabia with Arab and they were like, relax, stop. Like from, you know what I'm saying? From the, the GMC black SUV people. And he's like, what the, I'm just making a joke. I'm just making a joke. It's like, we're in Saudi Arabia. It's bigger than this. It's bigger than a rumble stream. I, I knowing him, bro. Like he he was never gonna st like stop pushing the boundaries until something like until there was a wake up call. You need to burn your hand on the stove before you realize it's hot. That's crazy. You need to get kidnapped in Haiti before you realize going to war torn countries and it, in an adventurous way, not even in a journalistic, authentically journalistic way. You know, trying to ingratiate yourself into their communities opportunistically to like show you know how crazy shit is yeah i mean that was definitely a lesson he sh did not have to learn the hard way but you know 
reality, right? That's just a confrontation with the real, right? This a lot of people, yeah, especially content creators, they live in a fantasy world. They live in a little bubble. You know, they're blinded by their views, their clout, their fucking next opportunity, and a lot of the time, yeah, you see their fucking bubble get popped in real time. Here's a uh, fresh and fits take. Yeah, they're they're not like torturing him or anything else like that, like you guys might think. Like he's he's good, man. You know what? They just... how the fuck do you know that? They just want their money. That's Sneakos that's what they want. The money. Huh? Sneeko should send the money. Sneeko, he should send the money. That's his fr that's his friend, bro. He should send the money. Um, but he he's gonna be home soon. They're, they're not like j just so y'all know the the captors are not like whooping his ass or doing anything to him. They're they're not. They're okay. not. I mean, at the end of the day, they want their money, bro. And he needs to be alive for them to get their money. Yeah, it doesn't need to be intact, though, but anyway, fair enough. I hope that they're correct, genuinely. Uh, I'm not, like, uh, the type of guy <clears throat> who would take pleasure in someone getting actually f***ing hurt. But, uh, yeah, there is a certain aspect of, like, bro, again, you're not a f***ing journalist. Like, that's not your goal, right? Your goal is just to look for something exciting. It's like, I guess you found it. GoCommerch.com, my friends. We've got these brand new hats. The Bad Faith hat looks f***ing sexy as hell trust me you will get compliments on this hat i've never been more confident in my life it looks fucking sick it's a very high quality hat i think very fairly priced but yeah go commerce.com my friends i'm proudly no joke every day I, i'm like so happy this hat looks so sick i wear it fucking every day on my walks bro so yeah it's a good dad hat too you know what i'm saying i got the dad fit bro again escape shirt go commerce.com i'll punch you in the gut <laughs> But anyway, yeah, thank you guys for all the support.